Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the organelle called mitochondria. Now, mitochondria, um, I'm sure uh, most of you are familiar with. These are um, known as the energy factory of, of the body. Um, now, the structure of the mitochondria is very interesting. It, you know, sort of has a pill-like oval shape with an outer phospholipid bilayer membrane. So all the organelles in the cell, just like the cell membrane itself, are made up of, um, have a membrane of their own that's made up of a phospholipid bilayer membrane. Now this, the mitochondrial phospholipid bilayer membrane, just like the cell membrane, has lots and lots of proteins, protein pores. And this allows, um, charged molecules and large molecules to pass freely into the mitochondria. All right, now the mitochondria is interesting because it has a second phospholipid bilayer membrane. And this one um, is very tortuous. So this membrane, I'm only gonna draw one layer of the phospholipid bilayer membrane here. but it's very tortuous like this. And this tortuous membrane creates sort of this matrix on the inside. And this matrix um, provide, provides lots and lots of surface area. And the, the surfaces of the matrix are studded with enzymes. And these enzymes, as you remember, enzymes are proteins that, that speed or catalyze the reaction of uh, different chemical reactions, two different substrates. Okay, so there's lots and lots of these enzymes studying the, um, the, matri the inner matrix of the mitochondria. Now, the goal of these, um, now what happens is the mitochondria um, will allow in um, certain molecules, particularly glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids. And these substrates, these high energy substrates, will work their way, will dissolve through into the matrix of the mitochondria and it'll start to work its way through the matrix. So here we have, you know, we'll say we have a glucose molecule here and it's going, going to um, work its way up against a enzyme. Now, at the same time, um, oxygen is also going to be dissolved in and the glucose and the oxygen are, um, the glucose molecules and the oxygen molecules are going to meet at an enzyme and a, um, the enzyme is going to catalyze a reaction. And this reaction is going to um, break down the high energy bonds of the glucose and release the energy. And this is going to go, um, this occurs in a um, reaction a series of reactions actually because it's going to keep going past enzymes and the series of reactions is known as the Krebs cycle and I'm not going to get into all the details of the Krebs cycle but what happens is the glucose and the oxygen combine go through a series of um, reactions and the glucose is broken down piece by piece and um, the end result is um, lots of carbon dioxide lots of water produced and most importantly, lots and lots of energy. Now, what does the mitochondria do with energy? It is um, using the energy to, um, here I'm gonna zoom out here so we can see what we're writing. Um, it is going to use the energy to change a molecule of adenosine diphosphate into adenosine triphosphate. And this is all happening somewhere in here as the energy gets released. Now,
Okay, so the whole goal of of the reaction, the released energy of releasing energy from glucose, amino acids, or fatty acids, is to um, is to release energy and then store it in a high energy bond of a third uh, phosphate group being added to adenosine diphosphate and being translated into adenosine diphosphate uh, into adenosine triphosphate. Now. Adenosine um, triphosphate is just an efficient way for the body to store energy because adenosine phosphate is an unstable molecule and it releases its energy very, very easily. So mitochondria are essentially the energy factories of the body. Um, they create, they generate energy by breaking down um, high energy bonds in glucose fatty acids and, um, and amino acids and then using that energy to create a new high energy bond by bonding um, a phosphate to adenosine diphosphate and turning it into adenosine triphosphate.